number nine on the list is William Regal, a guy who tore it up um, for um, WCW before getting fired after, you know, um, getting in a little bit of a tussle um, with uh, Goldberg on Nitro. Um, and jumping over, he did have, you know, substance abuses, so he didn't hit right off of the bat um, when he came to WWF. You know, he, he came in around the King of the Ring, I want to say 2002. No, it, was, it had to have been earlier than that. Dang it, but uh, he came in on one of those King of the Rings being the man's man, um, you know, Steve Regal, and uh, that, that gimmick didn't really work. He really sort of, you know, rolled back into that blue blood sort of, you know, the, the king character. He would go on and win the King of the Ring, I believe, in 2010. I uh, just made a video, of, no, it was 2008. Uh, yeah, 2008. I just made a video about that, naming him one of the ten top ten worst King of the Rings um, that we'd ever seen, but Regal, um, you know, sort of took that English style of wrestling and brought it to America, something that at least as I as a fan didn't really get to see. He became one of the best uh, GMs in WWE history, um, being a leader uh, during the uh, Attitude, during the Invasion, um, and, and was really, really good at that role, and now here he is, the commissioner of NXT. Um, really helping out with a lot of people at the Performance Center, uh, helping shaping people's careers, uh, and giving back is where I put him at number nine on the list.